Hi everyone, it's Anna with Pink Monarch Prints and I'm really excited to start this new series with you. Um, this is going to be kind of like our super, super simple series. Um, if you're not familiar with that one, check that one out. It's a really fun series. Um, this is kind of a super simple series, but it is designed for three ring binders. So this is the super simple series three ring binder version. Um, we just had a lot of positive feedback from a little mini one that we had done for one of our monthly kits and I thought it'd be fun to do a whole series of them. So like the super simples, I'm gonna release them as I create them. I'm still in the process of doing that and this is the first one. So, um, this one is super easy, super, super easy because most of the cover is already created and you can just add little extras if you want. We did that for the sake of keeping it thinner um, because it's going in three ring binders and there's limited space there. I'm going to back out just a hair. There we go. Um, so let's just talk about page one of your journal. Let me just clarify always when, because each one will come with a page like this that will be folded in half and then put into the three ring binders. Always, always this folded edge is going to end up going in the three ring binders. So you'll notice, for example, not always, but on this one, you're gonna see this space over here and that is to leave space for the three ring binders. So just a little bit of a heads up there that that is why that is there and that's how that will be working. So let's go ahead and get started. I've cut everything, I've inked everything. Everything is printed on a lightweight cardstock. I use 110 pound, um, but it's totally up to you. I didn't do any printing on the back of this one. Some of them you will need to, but for this particular one, it just worked out that you won't need to. So this is a really fun one because we're going to be making two round pockets that are going to come in here. And then we have some tags that are going to go in there. Now notice that when I fold this, and I open that in my journal, I'm gonna have room there to pull things out. So I'm um, trying to make everything flow smoothly um, given that it will be folded in half and put into a binder. So that's how I'm kind of deciding where to place things and which way to pull things out. So let's go ahead, we have two of these pockets here. These are the backgrounds for the pockets. So we can use either our art glitter glue or a glue stick. And I'm going to go ahead with a glue stick because I just want a full coverage on there. That's a little more smooth and the glue stick seems to do that. So I'm placing that in this um, rectangular lighter area and keeping it out of the way of where our three ring binders are going to be going. Now we started out with a simple one. Some of the ones down the line are going to be a little more um, involved, but I will walk you through every single one on video. And the fun part about doing these is not only are you having the opportunity to create something beautiful, but you're learning some additional junk journaling techniques that are really fun. Now we have these two pockets, they go like this. I'm gonna use my art glitter glue on this cause I just wanna get around this edge right here. And I wanna stay pretty close to the edge Big bubble. Because I'm trying to leave plenty of room for that pocket. I should get on camera, huh? You guys. <laughs> oh, can I tell you? I, I swear it's time for me to get 
some reading glasses or something. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid it, but it's getting bad. <laughs> oh well, it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm focusing really hard. There we go. And I'm just trying to keep those in a nice straight line. You can measure it out if you want, just to make sure that it's straight up and down. I don't know, could have done maybe a touch. Oh, well, that's pretty good. All right, so we have those. Now on our tags, I have a really pretty side and a side that you could write on or add some extras, um, either one whichever one you wanted facing out. I just wanted to give you the option. Oh, I need ink. I got a new little pad for my inker. I'm gonna go ahead and ink that just for that little tab to make sure that that has something on it. I think I'll go ahead and do this also with my glue stick. So these are really just Easy, easy. The hardest part about these is cutting them just because cutting circles is not super duper fun. And so hopefully you can cut it accurately enough where they mostly line up. And if there's anything that bugs you, you can kind of ink over it. I just don't have a circle punch that's this size. So it works. And then you'll see these will come right in our little pockets right here. As soon as I can get it to open. Right now I have it nice and tight, but over time that'll loosen up and it'll be easy. Now keep in mind if you have because some of them do have pieces that hang past that point. What that'll mean is it'll be hanging out the side, the front of your journal. So it'll just look like a cute little thing hanging out the front of your journal. So don't worry if it hangs out the front. And tag number two. Oh, we forgot to ink. Super fast. Let's see. And really, these flowers look good any direction, so it won't greatly matter. Wow, I cut those circles a lot better. Oh, there's a little bit. But not too bad. All right. And so, like I said, you could have it this way in your pocket. First time putting them in. So that would be cute because then you'd see these cute flowers. Or you can have it this way, which is a more neutral look. So totally up to you. Now with this kit, there's also just a few little tidbits. I think I'm actually missing some of them. That's okay. We're going to play with the ones we've got. And these are just to make a cute little collage. Keep in mind, depending on where your hole punch is going to be for your three ring binder, um, keep in mind that that could interfere with it, but that's okay as long as you're okay with it. But I just have some tiny little fun just to add a tiny bit of extra interest. You could also add some lace. You could add... Um, journaling or even a picture on those circles which would be really cute as well wouldn't that be fun so I just want to do something like that really keeping it nice and easy and I'm just putting these down with my art glitter glue because they are on that lightweight cardstock. 
and I'm making sure here not to interfere with my pocket. And these little circles, I think I have a few more in the kit, but they can be cut out with a hole punch, which is nice if you have the right sizing. I think this was an inch. But I have extra paper around the edges, so if you don't have the perfect size, one hopefully one size will work. All right. And there we have page one, which is our cover. Oh, I was gonna glue a cute thing on the front. I have some extra little bits too that I'm gonna glue on later, but since I don't know where they are, I won't do those on video. But keep in mind, you could add lace, you could add a charm, you could add whatever you want. You could technically keep this as a pocket right here with your flip journal. I don't think I'll be doing that. So anyway, that's it. That's the first page. Keep um, watching and we'll be working through all of them and I'm super excited to get to it. So thanks for watching and we will talk to you later. Bye.